This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell A blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers Welcome back, welcome back to the channel Alright my peeps, so a couple of things I wanna share with you guys in this video We see where Bangladesh and India They are actually locked in very tight in that second test match at the end of day three india chasing 145 for victory they were actually on 45 for four before the close of play and i tell you my peeps bangladesh they would have been even in a better position if they did not give up four easy chances in india's first inning so we're going to give you some information where that is concerned plus i was uh, taking a look at a particular website yesterday and I saw where they um, gave their best IPL playing 11 right so I'm going to share that with you guys plus I'm going to give you my personal best IPL playing 11 some of the players that they selected I definitely agree with but a couple of the selections I don't agree with and as per usual I know you guys will not agree with a lot of what I am saying so the comment section will be open so you can go in the comment section and let me know exactly what you think about um, my plane 11 but before I go down into that plane 11 my peeps remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and uh, the first thing that I want to uh, zoom in on is that test match the second test match there between India and Bangladesh and as I said Bangladesh they will be kicking themselves my peeps because they gave up four easy chances in uh, India's first innings when they were batting so Bangladesh they batted first and they made 227 all out right and in search of that 227 India made 314 yes my peeps uh, 314 and you know I tell you as I said, Bangladesh, they gave up a couple of easy chances. Here it is saying that Bangladesh missed four chances, right, in the field during the 150 run, fifth wicket stand between Sheris Ayer and Richard Pant. You understand? So all of those will come back in mind when they are looking at how, you know, they probably could snatch victory in this game. But it's still going to be tough, my peeps. Let me just... Uh, give you the score so uh, Bangladesh 227 for in their first innings and India went in and made 314 Bangladesh went back in and made 231 you understand and in that 231 my viewers and subscribers uh, you know they 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 let us just say the Indian bowlers they didn't have to work too hard for some of the wickets so that simply meant that India had about 144 145 runs to chase down in their second innings and but in now india they will resume on day four and 45 for four as i said 45 for four still needing a hundred more runs to win and they have all of 180 over so you can just imagine Shakib Alassane and his teammates will be looking at things and they will be saying Jano you know if we had taken those couple of chances in the first innings they probably wouldn't have um you know gone so far down into that total of 200 and uh 200 and, 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 and 31 that we made so yeah that is basically how it went my viewers and subscribers so you know uh, Bangladesh Attila going so close but yet so far couple of guys that would have stood out so far Mominolak he had 84 in the first innings you know he was the pick of the batsman for the Bangladesh team and uh, bowling for India in that first innings there we had a couple of bowlers with four wickets uh, Umesh Yadav he had four for 25 while Ashwin picked up four for tw uh, 71 so those were the pick of the bowlers in that game and uh, you know in India's first innings there we had Richard Pant getting 93 this man is a man that boy I tell you in his career so far the amount of time Richard Pant has been dismissed in the 90s he had 93 Suresh Aya had uh, 87 those were the two top guys for them and bowling for Bangladesh Shakib Alassane picked up four for 79 in the first innings while Islam had 4 for 74 now in the second innings, innings for Bangladesh where they made that 200 and we had um, Hassan uh, Zakir Hassan getting 51 he was uh, the man alongside Linton Das Linton Das had 73 
you know so those were the two guys that led it for them and uh we had Ax Aksar Patel picking up three wickets while Mohamed Siraj had two alongside Ashwin who had two and so far my viewers chasing down that 145 for victory in there they have lost quite a few batsmen. Shubman Gill for seven, Kel Rahul, who is captain in the team for two, uh, Pujara six. You understand? Patel is there at 26, and Virat Kohli was removed for one. So, you know, um, uh, Bangladesh doing good so far and picking up three wickets so far, Mehedi Hassan. So, you know, um, day four will be very interesting. As I said, India will be looking to settle down and try and bat just to get that 100 runs and in uh, Bangladesh will be looking to take those wickets as quickly as possible so that is how that game is going just to give you a little update so now moving on to the next topic my peeps I was on the internet yesterday taking a look at a particular website and I saw where they had um, the best IPL playing 11 right the best team so you know not to say that they wouldn't have had good players out there that did make the team but this, this according to them is the best playing 11. Chris Gale as you can imagine is there and I agree with Chris Gale he opens up with Roy Sharma that I agree with also Virat Kohli coming in at three uh, no, no problem with that uh, Shuris Raina at four AB De Villiers at five Mahendra Singh Dhoni at six and captains the team Revenger Jadeja is at um, seven as the all rounder. I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm going to tell you why. Um, Sunel Narayan is there at eight, okay with that. Bhuvish Kumar is there. I can understand, but I don't have him in my team. Lasif Malinga definitely in my team. And Jaswish Bumra they have at number 11. And I can understand with that. So, this is my best IPL 11 so far christopher henry gale who is the goat of t20 cricket contrary to popular belief i am actually a chris gale fan love his work love what he what he has achieved in terms of west indies and t20 cricket but i am just one of those guys that when you are not able to cut it anymore it doesn't matter how much you would have done for the team if you are not able to make the team i will say it. but absolute legend love him for what he has done for the game and we move on chris gale definitely in the plane 11 the best to have done it in T20 cricket, right? Um, Rohit Sharma opens up with Chris Gale. I have no problem with that. He would have led the Mumbai Indians to five titles, if I'm not mistaken. And he would have scored some crucial runs over the years. Virat Kohli, we know him. Extremely gifted cricketer. You know, one year he had quite a few centuries. Probably something like, I don't know, maybe four or five or something like that centuries in the IPL. I don't remember if it was 2016, 17. It was basically unstoppable and playable. You know, um, so Virat Kohli there, he is at number three. At number four, they have Shuish Reiner and they call him Mr. IPL. I can understand with him, you know, he has played quite a few games. He was very good um, for um, the Chennai Super Kings helped uh in the couple of titles that they won so i can agree with him being there brendan mccallum is the next player that i would put right there you understand though usually bat at number four but if i were to say let me take out shoeish right now brendan mccallum would be the guy that i would put there and ab de villas mr 360 he comes in the team at one two three four five so de villas comes in at number five mahendra singh Dhoni. Is the um the, the, the wicket keeper in at six and he will be captain in the team for me right so he's at six andre russell right um this is where they had i think they have uh they, they had um jadeja in this spot right jadeja very good t20 cricketer would have done good in the ipl but i personally go and go with um andre russell i mean jadeja he has done well for chennai super kings won a couple of titles but at that slot there at seven, I go and go Andre Russell slash Kyron Pollard. But I, I go and give Andre Russell the, the nudge. I, I think I would have seen Andre Russell play more winning knocks um, in comparison to Pollard. But two absolute legends of the IPL. But I go with Andre Russell. Sunil Narayan um, at number eight goes without saying one of the best T20 spinner that we have seen. So he's there. 
and I think they had Bovish Kumar at this spot here at number 9 but I am going to remove him even though he has played some crucial games for his team you know I, 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 I can't pick a plane 11 without Dwayne Bravo so Dwayne Bravo is there not because he's West India and I am not being biased but Dwayne Bravo is in my team and um, at number 10 we have Lasif Malinga right one of the best to have played the game you know the um yaka specialist deck bowling specialist he's there and at number 11 i think i'm going to work with boomer i still have some more years to go but his ability to bowl yakas and to keep things tight i definitely go with him so that is my playing 11 my peeps gail sharma virat Kohli, shurish Raina, probably brendan mccallum uh devilius mindja singh doni russell sunel narayan duane bravo malinga and um boomer that is my playing 11 the comment section is open you can go ahead in the comment section and let me know what you think all right big up on yourself my peeps stay safe